Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm here with my beautiful wife, Grace God. Gloria George. And we 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 are so blessed to be bringing. You see, all these things we're sharing, it's God's word. It's God's word. And it's like we're, we're, we're writing our letters. Our own Bible. Do you know when you were, sorry to cut short, my love. You know, sorry, when you were talking about some, like, was it Monday's episode or so? You said something about um, receiving the word of God, how you have received it, how you apply it, and then the results that you get from it. I remember when you taught us some time back in church, the what the, the Bible, Bible yeah. it just came alive to yeah. me. Because the Bible is a compendium of, of people, testimonies, testimonies of, of people, people who received, received the word of God. What they did. They applied it and then and they then got results. With us. So the word of God came to us. We received it. We've been applying it. And now we are sharing the results of it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Before we go into today's broadcast, can we just make the demand? Now, don't just watch. Listen and say this part you must participate praise god join us right now in faith and declare say father father i demand, I demand now right now my daily bread my daily bread that is coming to is me coming to me in, in jesus, jesus name, name. Amen. amen praise Hallelujah. god praise god wow now mm. so God began to supply for our wedding, mm. and it, it, it was funny. It was amazing. Of course, we we we, we did the traditional wedding in January, sometime in January. A week, a week before, before the before. wife. Yeah. Yes. So we did that in your village, and yeah. it was a very small event. Yes. Yeah. Because because yes, I think I said this before. The process of marriage, especially here in Africa, you you need to know what the important things are and then more especially as a child of god follow god's word now we have to pay the bride price mm -hmm. and all those things the demands you yeah. have to meet all those demands mm -hmm. in your village that was so important to me of it course, was more important yes. to me than the whole that's ceremony like, you know, that's like, a process that, that was, was a long like, process yes. that we kept doing yes until yes. we finished yes. we finished all that god helped us in that area so mm. we we traveled down return to village, okay yeah went there we, came back and then we came back now to mm. face this big giant <laughs> that was facing it. i remember we got our wedding ring on on the thursday before our wedding now yeah. that everything was just coming one after, after the, the other. other and we we're just relaxed you know how everything god was just supplying mm. god raised people wonderful oh, people. people i remember your boss then mm. you know now my where i was working yeah. let me even talk about that they handled my boss just told me you know what prior to that time there was an event in school that we went for and then we were served food from the caterers in school because the school I was working in then, Gleason International Academy, we had a kitchen where caterers used to cook for the students as well. So we had both the primary and the secondary section. So this particular event was, was my boss's event. So the caterers cooked for us. I don't like ate the food. It was really nice. I was like, ah, this food is really nice. So, so I talked to you about it. That why don't we talk to you know my 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 I, I, why don't i talk to my boss it so that the caterers can cook for us so we can even pay them to cook for us that this food is really nice and see how they are controlling everything yeah. Yeah, everything is in order you know so you were okay with it and when i went when i approached her she was like fantastic and I think before then you had suggested to them mm -hmm. to really set up no that was actually after my wedding okay. Okay. because the results yeah that was achieved after that wedding it was too so beautiful they did it so well so that was where the lord spoke to me to suggest that the school should have an event yeah, arm yeah, of the school yeah. and then i went ahead and talked to her about it and she was wild with the idea yeah. and that is still going on till date to the glory of god you know so taking us back to the catering part of the event yeah. i spoke to my boss about it and she was like wow great here yeah. is the miracle you're not going to pay these caterers like you're paying for people to come cook for your wedding just tell give us a list of everything that you, you get want a, get a list from them 
No, like we should give them the list of what we want to be served okay. on the yeah. wedding day. Yeah. Like okay. the men know, yeah. more like the men yeah. know. Yeah. And then they are going to give us a breakdown of what, what we need to what, buy. Yeah, what we need to buy and the cost. So I was going to do that with the chief caterer. And after that, whatever amount is there is what we should pay. So no charges, no, <laughs> you know how it is to pay caterers for an event. That was a miracle <coughs> on his own. You and know. then you remember um, Sister Alice. Yes. Uh, handled all the decorations. You see, God just God. brought wonderful people. You know, you know how they take out a huge burden, burden in your life. I'm telling you. I, you know, like you just come and like, okay, what's going on exactly. here? Exactly. No, no discussion like, okay, what are you? You're like, look, and just everything was that. excellent. It just wasn't. Leave that to me. You know how that you, someone offers to do something for you, and then maybe you come look at it, you're not too satisfied. You're like, okay, it was a gift, thank you, but it wasn't anything like that. They, they did beyond our expectation. As in, you know everything how you was look beautiful. Like, Is this my wedding? <laughs> <laughs> like you were invited to your own wedding. <laughs> everything and, was beautiful. And, the school stood up for me. Oh. The the logistics, everybody turned up. Everything was so beautiful. My you know, my you friends in back, church. You think back and like we didn't have like a wedding planner. No, we we, we that, planned everything. Be, how? Because we just we, had beautiful we, people in we our lives. We were just believing God for the next day. <laughs> <laughs> now we're not saying don't have wedding planners it's, it's important it's important follow your to, lane you yeah. know but we because we're following the lord day by day now we had all these things in our hearts like yeah. okay uh how do we get this done lord what do we do mm -hmm. you're the one in charge mm -hmm. of this thing so he now began to raise people, people. yeah that we're taking up different, different responsibilities. responsibilities we didn't go ask i remember we we were like, okay, how do we go about this? And the Lord gave us wisdom mm. that there are people in your lives yeah. that have had steady marriage mm. for, I mean, elderly people. Mm. And then the Lord directed us to them, said, look, go sit with them and let Just them speak talk. into your life. Yeah. And that was our wedding marriage counseling. Yes. That's, that's how we did our marriage counseling. So we selected these people we trusted that, uh, I mean, they, they've God have just somehow brought them into our lives mm. and and that's how we were going to them one, one after, after the, the other, other. And, and then this other they will speak to yeah. us you know share their experience with us mm. just one or two words they are mm. about mm. and then i remember they were now like, okay who who is going to officiate the wedding okay <laughs> before we get to the officiating of the wedding can we still talk a little about the people that god raised yeah, for us yeah. i remember the wedding gown remember we, we said we we're going to talk about it yeah i got stuck <clears throat> at some point for my wedding gown because there was just this disappointment that happened that i didn't really envisage so i was like god was going to what's going to happen to me now because i had an offer that i personally turned down because of this other offer mm -hmm. so when these things happen and it was just getting close to the wedding god now raised sister and so she took us to a one, a one stop one, ride yes. i think that was the name of the place and we had a huge discount on this very beautiful dress and you just enter we just entered there and, and i just girl. it was just there see this girl you know as though it was waiting there for, for me it was and a then, perfect and then now tried it it was perfectly perfect. no adjustments I'm nothing telling you, I'm telling i remember you. so we now saw the guy we didn't even have money then yeah. to buy the guy. you know when people say don't go with your groom to see the i'm like no no i need this groom <laughs> with me right now because right now my head is i don't want to be confused like i like i need the groom to come with me we need everything was done together everything was done by faith and as god would have it when we got to this um stop shop for the gown practically every other every thing other i needed, thing needed was, was there. there yeah so, so we just all arranged things everything. work together we for good some money yes to just... everything for for the little bride everything about the train was i didn't need to be running this, around this was not months to the wedding mm -mm. This, days, was, <laughs> days this was the, the same wedding. this was in january now. everything <laughs> happened in january god opened doors raised the people supplied the money and then we had favor with the vendors as well oh god, that's just the you see now remember i said god authored it 
he authored it. Yeah. He said, do this. Mm-hmm. And and I will open the doors for you. And every step of the way, you have to walk in unity. Sure do. And then, yes, that's the unity. Truth. We, we, no you know, strife. You, you can't start Mm-mm. striving. Or being you know, angry. Most times, being so they, tense. Yes, people get, you know, Pressure. people tell you, people tell you when they are planning for their wedding that they, they broke up like mm. five times. Mm. <laughs> you know? Now, you don't let those things happen. Yeah. Your yeah. Do away with strife. Yeah. Don't. Mm-mm. Don't get involved with strife. Just tell yourself anything God cannot give mm. me. Then look when when, when it looks always, like this door is closing. Look for the next door. Just look door. for the next door instead of you to be whining at the closed look door. For the next that door. means that's not God's will at that time. Don't get angry Mm-mm. with people. Though if, if it's not just walking, pause. I said, Lord. What would you have me do mm-hmm. now? Mm-hmm. He will show you the next thing to mm-hmm. do. Mm-hmm. Now, because he doesn't like strife. No. God doesn't like strife. No. He he never walks in it. The Bible says where there's envy and strife, there's, there's confusion and every, every evil, evil work. work. Now that means God is not in that place. Mm-hmm. Where you hear every evil work, it means there is it's no God. God there. God that means the devil is the one he's, that is the in one, charge. He's the, he's the chairman mm. <laughs> of that environment. Mm. And that's not where you would like to be. Mm. So when you're planning your way, because now these things are important, but yes. sometimes, even though God have commanded a, 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 a marriage, mm. God have said, oh, marry this person. Mm. If you let strive, because the fact that God have said it, have already made you a target to the devil. Yes, and he wants to distort it. He wants to destroy it. He's, you know, sometimes very close people will just get on your nerves. You know, this, you have to watch you know it. this truth. Your, you have to make up your mind what kind of marriage you have. Mm. Is my marriage going to honor the Lord? Or is my marriage going to mock the Lord? Because if your marriage is not honoring God, because it's God that uh, ordains marriage. Yes. The wisdom for marriage came from God. Mm. It is not good that man, man should, should be, be alone. alone. That's the yeah. origin of the wisdom for marriage. Now, since God authored marriage, your marriage is either honoring him or... by confirming what he said, mm that it is not good for man to, to be, be alone. alone. I will make him a help suitable for him. Mm. It's either your marriage is confirming that. It's either God is looking at your marriage and said, yes, I was right when I said mm. it's not good for Or your marriage is mocking him. Mm. Now, you must make up your mind from day one. If your marriage is so stressful, so annoying, you don't even know whether to up out or to stay, Imagine what God thinks when he looks at that marriage. And this is for both parties. It's yes. not only one person. Not I'm, not talk- one I'm person. not just talking to the men. I'm not just talking to the women. Mm. It's both parties. Now, that's why we are children of God. You have to sit down. Now, it doesn't matter how long you've been married. If that marriage has not been so beautiful for you, I think this is a point you need to sit down with yourselves and ask yourself this question. Questions. Is our marriage honoring Honoring god God. or is it mocking god and then reset very important question to ask yourselves sit down together and look at it and tell yourself this truth if it is not honoring the lord so just imagine god looking at your marriage now and what's the thinking if it's not honoring god it is mocking God. Now, if you're not married yet, that's one thing you must make up your mind for that. My marriage will honor the Lord. And it's not that you just say it and go and sleep. Mm-mm. You say it. Now, the good thing about saying it and praying about it mm-hmm. is that you invite the Holy Spirit, Spirit. into it. So he begins to, to orchestrate you. yes. your life yes. in that direction. That's mm-hmm. when you're not married yet. Yes. He begins to orchestrate your life. In. So even the person you're going to get married to, because these are the desires he has put in your heart, mm-hmm. he will begin to orchestrate your life to meet the kind of person that will make that possible for yeah. you. Yeah. Now then, even if you're married, and this is simply your desire, mm. first and foremost, sit down with your spouse and say, look, we're Christians, right? Sincerely speaking. We have one Lord, right? Yes, we Can have we one Lord. Visit, re- Sincerely you know? speaking, this is our marriage. Mm. 
is it honoring the lord that we have i'm not putting blames i'm not mm. saying you did this or i, I did, did this this thing we call our marriage mm. is it honoring the lord in your perspective or is it mocking the lord why do i say mocking the lord imagine satan saying i thought you said this thing is a good thing mm. see your children it is so look at their faces they're so stressed they are so um, angry with one another this is what you call marriage if you didn't bring these two people together they will not be suffering like this satan is using you to mock god yes because satan didn't institute marriage god instituted marriage so there's no middle ground in this thing there's no uh, we're, we're working at it no it's either and this is a daily occurrence mm. this is, has to do with the, what you think in your mind mm. this has to do with the actions this has to do with the words that you speak everything about your marriage is it honoring god or is it mocking god it's that serious now the beauty of your marriage honoring god is this ah they come now we've seen so many miracles mm. in these 10 years mm. we've seen lots and lots of miracles mm. we'll go into that you know that i can only tie it to one thing because of the honor that we have placed with our marriage before oh the Lord. yeah we honor him you see he comes first remember the bible say honor the lord with your substance and with the first fruit of all your increase so shall your bands be filled, filled with, plenty. with plenty if you want to have your bands filled with plenty now bands being filled with plenty he's talking about what uh, finance provision and mm. things like that mm. now now imagine Put that same scripture in marriage. Oh. Honor the Lord with, with your, your marriage. marriage. So think about what God will do for mm. you. In every other area. Now, in, in finances, when he says honor the Lord with your substance, the the the, the moment you received, you, you receive substance, the first thing you want to think is your tithe. Yeah. Now, tithing is not just giving God money. Mm -hmm. Tithing is the honor you place before, before the lord mm. so that's why the moment the money comes the first thing you think about is to take out the tithe mm. that's when it is on oh, no. if you have spent half of the money i say hey my tithe and you still take out that tithe you took out money yet but you didn't honor the lord there is no honor to it and that's why people don't get results when they tithe. That's why people don't get results when they give. Where is the honor in it? Mm. You understand? Now, the same thing with marriage. Where is the honor, honor in your marriage? Now, I'm not just talking about husband honoring your wife, wife honoring your husband. If both of you honor the Lord, you will honor one another. That's true. It starts from your heart. Mm -hmm. See, if a man is not submissive to the Lord, that's just what I was going to say. He Submission cannot be submissive to his to wife. If a woman is not submissive to the Lord, mm. he cannot be submissive to, to his husband. wife, to the husband. Yeah. So you see, it's not about you did this, I did. No, 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 no. Yes, honoring the Lord begins from your individual hearts. Right. Yeah. I honor the Lord. I put the word of the Lord before me. See, no matter what I think. Mm. The moment I see that this is how God thinks in this direction, direction. I subject adjust myself, myself mm. to think that thought. Now, that's how I've been for many years. Mm. And then I found you to be like that. Mm. Of course, you know, I had a role to play in it. Yeah. But then I, I found you mm. to be like that mm. also. Mm. Whether I'm there or I'm, I'm not, not there. Mm. Now, I remember one time many years ago you were still very young then you entered um, into this vehicle with um, this fraud this Frosters. is what they call one chance taxi in, in in abuja then and you entered this vehicle innocently now you've never heard anything like that before and then now i'm showing you what honor is and then you entered and then they began to talk about dollars that there's dollars in the boots <laughs> and then they began to talk about how 
you know, everybody should come together in that and taxi. Mm. And if we do what is what we're supposed to do, we'll all share the money. Now, that's a big mm. deal to a whole lot of people. And mm -hmm. many people have been defrauded By it. in that yeah. way. Now, here, I, I remember what you told me then. Because you you began to ask them some questions. And then, and then you said something to me. Then you said that you thought about it. If you share this, if they share this money and give you your parts, the first thing you want to do is to pay tight, tight from it. And then you will want to call your daddy, your father, that that's me. You will call your father and say, God has blessed, blessed me. And then you began to analyze how you will explain will that say? blessing and what I will say to you. Now, that whole process, now this is how honor works. Mm. That whole process made you realize that, uh-uh, this thing is not, it's not something I can explain to my pastor. So if I cannot explain it to my pastor, how do I pay the title of this thing then? And I said, nah, there's nothing. This thing doesn't mm -hmm. look right. And I told them to drop you. <laughs> I remember when you told them to drop you. They said, ah, you, don't want, you, want, you don't want to partake. He said, no, I don't want. And then oh, they said, pay your money. He said, which money? Take my share. <laughs> With all the dollars in the booth. <laughs> Take my share. <laughs> Praise God. Now, you see, because you honor the Lord in your heart, uh -huh. it's not, Father, I honor you. Uh -huh. Oh, Lord, I honor you. Uh -huh. Now, this is it. Uh -huh. Here's the situation. You, there's dollars to be shared. Uh -huh. But then, because you honor the Lord, you're asking yourself, how do I tithe of this, from yeah. this month? Yeah. You test. What's the testimony yes. in this month? Yes. And then you saw that there was no testimony in it. You saw that you couldn't honor the Lord with it. it. You withdrew mm. from that situation. Mm. Unknown to you, they were fraudsters. Yeah. It was later I got to yeah. discover. So when you were telling me, I yes. said, ah, yeah, God just saved you. <laughs> now, now on, that's the truth. Because you honored the Lord. He delivered you. Mm. Now, this is the same thing that happens in you know, marriage. Yes. I want to take a decision. How is this decision going to honor the Lord? In my actions, because daily lives, you know, in your daily dealings with your spouse, there will be challenges. Yeah. The honor that you have before the Lord will come to play at that time. Yeah. What you say, what you do, how you act, even when you go astray, what you do after will show. Because sometimes you may do something, you may be erratic, yeah. you do something and then when the Holy Spirit tells you, go and apologize, would you go? Oh, I, I wasn't at fault. I wasn't at fault. The peace, first of all. Let you there know, be peace. I remember after I did that traditional marriage. Mm. Now, I know legally we're married. Yeah. So, I have a wife. I've paid the bride price, so mm. she's my wife. Mm. But then we said something. We said, now, of course, the Lord has spoken to me that that's where we're going to get married. But then we said something. We said, listen, I have gotten a wife now. I have paid the bride price. I have a wife now. But then we're going to wait until the day we present ourselves before the Lord. And that was our decision. So we kept ourselves until we presented ourselves before, before the, the Lord. Lord. So I want to say, Lord, I have gotten a wife. So I'm presenting her to you first mm. before I do anything with her. That's all. Yeah. Now, you see, I'm not saying this to say, because sometimes people get to their traditional marriage and they, sometimes they stay so long before they now do their white wedding. I don't advise that in any, any way. way. <laughs> I don't. But I'm just trying to tell you how we choose to honor the Lord in our marriage. Now, yes, I have enough sense, I have enough knowledge to know that I paid your bride price. Mm. If we start having sex from then, it's not a sin. Mm. Really, it's not. Actually. You know? That's why what churches will do, you know. Oh, but they see the wisdom in this and in the, in the place of honor. Mm. Say, look, I have gotten myself a wife, but then I want to present her before oh, the Lord, before God's people. That white wedding was so important to us. Yes, it was. It was so it important was. to us. And our time is up. 
<laughs> Praise God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, Father. And Lord, we bless everyone watching. Visit them. Amen. Visit them. Amen. Today, let God's visitation come to you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.